Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading, the 3rd of August 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly download the uh, latest app uh, from uh, tradesignal.com, signal, trade signal, signals, and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the market direction, let's try and work this out, folks, in terms of the summary for today's price action. Now, we started off today with uh, the Nikkei down overnight, okay, so certainly uh, a risk off tone, but that was certainly uh, a lot of that was factored in, okay, given the fact that the uh, USD JPY certainly held a, the 100 level, that certainly is bullish, so if we bring up the USD JPY, folks. And you can clearly see on the chart, on the daily chart, the USD JPY, we're into that double bottom, you can see on the four hour chart as well. Okay, so a lot of that really has been factored in. Now, okay, get post BOJ, slight disappointment or quite a major disappointment given the fact that we we, we certainly topped up that 107.5 and we've certainly fallen since. Now, we have had stronger US data today, that certainly will help the USD JPY, and you can see it bouncing off that uh, 100 zone. And that's obviously bullish for US equities, given the fact that there's a link, direct link between the uh, USDJPY and the uh, the actual S&P 500. Okay, now we've certainly had banking sector concerns, commodity concerns as well, as you can see with regards to USDJPY bouncing, i.e. the yen falling. Okay, if you look at the chart of oil as well, oil is quite important here, folks, crude oil. And I did explain to you yesterday that you are going to see a bounce due to gap fill. Okay, so you clearly see you've got a gap fill bounce here, but the FTSE 100 certainly has failed to uh, realign with the uh, the price of oil today. Certainly a disconnect there to a large part, which I'll explain shortly, okay, especially with BOE tomorrow as well. So you had the uh, Hang Seng down, the Shanghai certainly closed up, okay, uh, odd one out there, okay. So again, looking for stronger US data or UK data to uh, lift the market, and that obviously failed to transpire. In terms of economic data, let's go through the chron chronology today. In terms of economic data, uh, you had uh, Euro European data out this morning. You had Chinese cakes and services out overnight, mixed, okay. Uh, again, China data was certainly mixed. The minutes of the BOJ as well, certainly a mixed review and obviously not being taken as bullish. Uh, Spanish data, certainly weaker. Italian data on the stronger, sorry, Spanish uh, services, certainly stronger. More Italian services, certainly stronger, or more or less in line. Uh, French data certainly slightly stronger. F German data mixed, one beat, one failed. Okay, Euro Eurozone market services PMI certainly better. UK data failed. Uh, EU retail sales more or less flat on the uh, on the month on month. Okay, so certainly a mixed set of results from Europe, but Germany and France certainly uh, stronger. Uh, European uh, certainly stronger overall as well. So therefore helping lift the uh, the actual banking sector and the commodity malaise. Okay. Uh, and then we had the US data, so mortgage application slightly better than expected, ADP employment stronger, market PMI coming on the stronger side, okay, the ISM non-factoring certainly coming in weaker, and crude oil stocks themselves certainly helping the uh, price of oil move higher. So again, like I said, folks, a mixed set of data, so bear that in mind, a mixed set of data. Okay, so again, US data overall strong, therefore helping the US markets higher. Uh, UK was really the only real, real weak point there, okay, and whereas the rest of the Eurozone more or less came in line and slightly stronger, okay. So now how do we uh, reconcile that with the price action? So let's try and look at the market now, folks, on a technical perspective. Okay, so daily chart of the German DAX, you can see that we've held at 200 MA at uh, 10.090, 10, 10, 10, uh, I did explain that you are looking to hold the 200 MA and that's exactly what we've seen thus far. 60 minute charts certainly have bounced off uh, this uh, horizontal uh, support zone. Okay, you are looking at resistance if we do move higher than you are looking at previous support equals resistance. Okay, so again, you're looking at 10250 zone on the German DAX currently turn around the 10180. So certainly keep an eye on that 10180 zone as well. Okay, uh, and again, going into tomorrow with regards to BOE is going to be quite important. So 10,250, 10,180, certainly looking for weakness there. The HNS on the German DAX certainly has been complete at 10,120 and therefore looking for a short squeeze bounce. Okay. 10 minute chart on the uh, German DAX. Again, you do have this potential for an inverted head and shoulders, and that's exactly what we've transpired. The IHS potential target, let's try and work this out for you folks. Okay. So. Uh, IHS target here, you are looking for a target of, let's just confirm this for you. Okay, so this is the, the actual trade setup at present. Okay, so 
looking for a move higher here. So you're looking at the pivot low being 10,090. You take it up to the neckline, which is 10,190. Okay. Or 10,170, sorry. 10,170 to 10,090. So you're looking at a potential um, 80 point move. So 10,190, 10,190, add the 80 points. You're looking at 10,260. And 10,250, 10,260 is that 200 MA. Now, previous support equals resistance at 10,270 as well. So watch out for 10,250 to 10,270 on the uh, potential upside, okay, in terms of the uh, the actual market itself, okay, folks? Okay, so that certainly is a zone that we're looking for, okay? Okay, so again, watch out for resistance there. You do have a horizontal intermediate resistance at 10 to 10. So again, 10 to 10 is going to be quite important, quite crucial, okay? Right, that's the German DAX for you. So German DAX certainly is a bias towards the bullish side. The French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart, the French CAC at the moment. You can see we held horizontal support. Previous support equals resistance, or previous resistance equals support as such. Okay, so certainly bounced. 60-minute chart, horizontal support certainly has holding, but you do have this bearish engulfing candle, so bear that in mind. The 10-minute chart, the French CAC at the moment, again, you, you fail to make the lower lows. So again, looking for a bounce here, folks. And looking for potential resistance, first seen at 4350 zone. So watch out for the 4350 zone. And then you have unfilled gap at 4410 as well, so bear them to uh, levels in mind. Okay, now the FTSE 100, again, this has been a, a real conundrum uh, today. The daily chart on the FTSE, you can see previous resistance equals support, so looking for a bounce. 60 minute chart, you're in this bearish channel, looking for this bearish channel to break out to the upside. Okay, Asian S formation has been complete at 6620 more or less. Okay, so again, certainly looking for a rebound or a retracement. 10 minute chart, I'm looking to play this H inverted head and shoulders formation at the moment. Looking for inverted head and shoulders target of. Let me just confirm this for you. So you have um, 6650 minus the 6620. Okay, so you're looking at a. Uh, yeah, more or less 6650. And then you're looking for a pivot low of 6620. So you're looking at 6680 on the upside. Okay, so looking at 6680 on the upside, that's a target, okay, that we're looking to uh, find and locate. So again, we look to uh, towards that, okay, uh, and look for 6680 on the upside and then looking for a potential reversal thereafter. Going into the BOE, certainly bias is tilted to the, to the upside, bear that in mind, okay. So BOE, potential stimulus, etc. individuals looking to potentially short squeeze uh, and get out of the shorts given the fact that the BOE is on, on tap for tomorrow, okay. Right, uh, in terms of Euro stocks, let's just bring up the Euro stocks, last but not least, and uh, give you an insight there as to the potential there. Okay, so Euro stocks, where art thou? Here we go, Euro stocks, okay. So Euro stocks on the daily chart, let's bring that up for you first and foremost. Daily chart, you can see we held previous resistance equals support. You have this diagonal trend line as well, that's in play. 60 minute chart, again, we certainly held previous resistance equals support. And therefore looking to potentially bounce okay 10 minute chart on the euro stocks again no lower lows okay so again that's a good sign bulls are certainly back in control and now looking for a potential reversal on the euro stocks now you clearly have this inverted head and shoulders formation folks okay so watch out for this ihs pattern looking to uh, potentially play out so your left shoulder obviously is here we've gone and carved the head out okay looking for this right shoulder to play out and you can clearly see the whole concept is that you made no lower lows. You've made a double bottom looking for a higher low. Okay, and then obviously looking for a higher high. So given the fact that we have this inverted H&S, so take the pivot low to the neckline and project it to the upside. Okay, so you're looking at an inverted head and shoulders target of, if you take the pivot, uh, say, say the neckline, which is around 2920, minus the, uh, the head, which is the pivot low being uh, 2890. So you're looking for a 30 point move, 2950 on the upside. So again, look for 2950 on the upside. What's interesting is you have gap fill at 2965. So, and then your horizontal uh, diag 200 and MA resistance here. You have a uh, horizontal resistance 2928. So again, these are all levels that you need to pay attention to. Okay. So again, bias is up to the upside. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus.